Hey design fans, you ever find yourself scrolling through those uh, impossibly cool city apartment tours online? Mm -hmm. You know the ones that look like they belong in a magazine? Yeah, totally. We're about to like crack the code on how to get that look. Yeah. Today we're diving deep into urban modern interior design. We've got a fantastic source that breaks down all the essential elements. Get ready for industrial chic meets modern sophistication. It's all about city living done right. What's so interesting about urban modern design is um, it's not just about aesthetics. It's like deeply rooted in the psychology of city life. This source really highlights how the style emerged as a response to the unique challenges of urban environments. Yeah, it's like the city itself became the inspiration, right? Exactly. Think about it. Limited space, the need for adaptability, the desire for a sense of calm amidst the urban hustle. Urban modern design tackles these head on. That makes so much sense. And speaking of tackling challenges, our source talks about open and flexible layouts being like a defining characteristic of this style. Mm -hmm. Remember those airy industrial lofts we were talking about? That seamless flow between the kitchen, living room, dining area? Yeah, yeah. That's not just a design choice, it's a strategic use of space. Absolutely. Our source really dives into the psychology behind this. Studies have shown that a sense of spaciousness can have a huge impact on well-being, especially for city dwellers. Open layouts create that feeling of airiness and freedom of movement, which is so essential when you're living in a smaller space. You know, it's funny because I always thought those open layouts looked cool, but I never really connected it to the psychology of it all. Right. I can totally see how it would make a difference. And think about those huge windows you often see in urban modern spaces flooding the space with natural light. Again, it's about combating that feeling of being boxed in, which is something a lot of us city dwellers crave. It's all about maximizing what you have, both in terms of space and light. Our source also talks about using movable furniture and multifunctional pieces, mm. which, let's be honest, is just smart design no matter where you live. Absolutely. It's about adaptability and making the most of every square inch. Think a sleek coffee table that transforms into a dining table or an ottoman with hidden storage. Oh, wow. These are the ingenious solutions that make urban living so stylish and functional. Form meets function. I love it. Now let's talk about what really gives urban modern design its edge. Yeah. Materials. Our source dives into the use of raw industrial elements like exposed brick, concrete, steel beams, you know, stuff that tells a story. It's like bringing a bit of that urban grit indoors, but in a refined, intentional way. What's fascinating is the contrast. You have these rough, almost unfinished looking surfaces juxtaposed with sleek metal accents and softer elements like plush rugs or velvet cushions. Okay, stop right there, mm -hmm. because you just painted such a vivid picture in my mind. I can practically feel the rough texture of concrete countertop against a smooth velvet upholstered bar stool. That's the kind of sensory experience that sets this style apart. Exactly. And speaking of sensory experiences, let's talk about the urban modern color palette. Our source describes it as a study in understated elegance. You mean all those gorgeous neutrals, right? Mm -hmm. Get ready for a whole lot of grays, blacks, whites, and maybe a touch of beige. Our source even talks about using monochromes, which sounds really chic. It is! Imagine a living room with charcoal gray walls, a slightly lighter gray sofa, and a textured rug in a near white shade that's the magic of monochromes. It creates this incredibly sophisticated and calming atmosphere, which, let's face it, is a welcome respite from the sensory overload of city life. And speaking of creating a certain mood, let's talk about how lighting takes center stage in urban modern design. Our source calls out statement lighting fixtures as like a hallmark of this style. Okay, so we're talking about those oversized metal pendants or exposed Edison bulbs that instantly draw your eye, right? Exactly. They often become focal points, highlighting architectural details and adding a touch of drama to the space. But it's not just about aesthetics. Remember, functionality is key in urban modern design. Our source also mentions the clever use of track lighting and wall sconces to provide targeted illumination for specific tasks or areas. It's like having the perfect lighting for every mood and moment. Now let's talk about how to inject some personality into these spaces. Our source mentions incorporating urban-inspired decor like artwork, murals, photography, anything that reflects that city vibe. And this is where things get really interesting. Imagine a stunning black and white photograph of a cityscape hanging above a sleek, low-profile sofa. Or a vibrant mural inspired by street art adding a pop of color to a neutral wall. It's about telling a story with your decor and reflecting the energy of the urban environment. You know, I recently visited a friend's loft in Chicago, and they had this incredible collection of vintage maps framed on the wall. 
it totally made sense with the whole urban modern aesthetic, and it was a great conversation starter. That's a perfect example. It's those personal touches that truly bring a space to life. And don't be afraid to get a little abstract or geometric with your art choices. Our source points out how those styles tie in beautifully with the overall modern aesthetic. Now let's talk about furniture. What kind of pieces complete this picture? Our source describes the furniture as sleek and low profile with clean lines. Think mid-century modern with a contemporary twist. And of course, functionality is still key. Our source reminds us that multifunctional pieces are a must have. Ottomans with hidden storage, coffee tables that transform into desks. It's about maximizing every inch of space without sacrificing an ounce of style. Right, because in a city, your apartment often has to serve multiple purposes. It might be your office, your gym, and your entertainment hub all rolled into one. So that furniture has to be adaptable. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the importance of bringing a touch of nature indoors. Our source talks about how greenery can soften the industrial feel of urban modern spaces. It's amazing how even a small potted plant can breathe life into a room, isn't it? It's like creating a little oasis amidst the concrete jungle. Speaking of maximizing space, our source talks about the clever utilization techniques often found in urban modern design. Things like built-in storage, floating shelves, and those amazing multifunctional rooms where every inch serves a purpose. And don't underestimate the power of mirrors. They can do wonders to create an illusion of spaciousness. A well-placed mirror reflects light, making a room feel larger and more open. It's like magic. Yeah. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. We've talked about open layouts, raw materials, those killer lighting fixtures, and the importance of bringing in personal touches. But before we wrap things up, I'm curious to hear more about this concept of creative zoning that our source mentions. It sounds intriguing. It is fascinating. Essentially, it's about defining different areas within an open layout without relying on walls. Think of it like creating invisible rooms within a room. You can achieve this through furniture arrangements, rugs, or even strategic lighting. So instead of having a separate dining room, you might define that area with a rug and a statement pendant light hanging over the table. Exactly. Or you could create a cozy reading nook by arranging a comfortable armchair and a floor lamp in a corner. It's about using design elements to visually separate different functional zones while still maintaining that open and airy feel. That's so smart. It's all about working with the space you have and making it work for you. Exactly. And you know, that's what's so great about urban modern design. It's all about embracing the unique challenges and opportunities that come with city living and transforming them into design features. It's like the city itself becomes a co-designer. Precisely. And as we delve deeper into the heart of this design philosophy, it's clear that it's about so much more than aesthetics. It's about creating a living space that is functional, adaptable, and truly reflective of the urban lifestyle. It's about embracing that energy and dynamism of the city while creating a sanctuary of calm amidst, amidst all the chaos. What I love is that it's so adaptable. You don't have to live in a downtown loft to appreciate the beauty of this style. Exactly. It's about capturing that essence of urban modern design, that blend of industrial, cool, modern sophistication, and effortless functionality and making it your own, no matter where you call home. So if someone listening is inspired to bring a little bit of that urban chic into their own space, where would you suggest they start? Well, I always think the color palette is a great place to begin. Yeah. Could you experiment with a more neutral base, then layer in textures and materials to create visual interest? Imagine swapping out a brightly colored throw pillow for one in a rich textural fabric like velvet or linen, or adding a sleek metal side table next to your existing sofa. It's like giving your furniture a little urban makeover. Exactly. And don't underestimate the impact of lighting. Maybe swap out a basic pendant light for one with a more industrial feel. Think Edison bulbs or metal finishes. Those little changes can make such a difference. And don't forget the power of greenery. Even a small potted plant can bring life and warmth to a space. Absolutely. If you're short on floor space, consider a vertical garden or hanging planters. It's about finding ways to bring the outdoors in, even if you're surrounded by concrete. So many great ideas. As we wrap up our deep dive, I think the key takeaway here is that urban modern design is about so much more than just following a set of rules. It's about understanding the principles behind it the emphasis on functionality, the use of raw materials, the clever space-saving solutions, and then adapting those principles to your own personal style and space. You hit the nail on the head. It's about creating a space that is a reflection of you and your life. And you know, after this deep dive, I'm feeling inspired to look at my own living space with fresh eyes. 
I might not be living in a downtown loft, but I can certainly appreciate the beauty of simplicity, yeah. functionality, and maybe just a touch of industrial edge. I think that's the perfect note to end on. Embrace those elements that speak to you and don't be afraid to experiment. Until next time, happy designing, everyone.